In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verse 5 through to 25. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God, in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of people was praying outside at that hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard. And your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place because you do not believe in my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned them and remained speechless. So it was. As soon as the days of his service were completed, that he departed to his own house. Now after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she had herself live she has had herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and your teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours. In this scripture reading from St. Luke today, from the very first chapter, we read about John the Baptist. Well, actual fact, we read about Zacharias and Elizabeth, the parents 
of St. John the Baptist. They were both well on in years. Zacharias, of course, was a, one of the priests. And as he was offering up incense at the altar in the temple, the angel appeared to him and told him that his prayers had been answered. Of course, then he told him about how Elizabeth was to have a child. But this, this was strange to him because he was getting on in years and so was Elizabeth, even beyond childbearing. So that really puzzled him. He had difficulty in believing and understanding how this was absolutely possible. We read in scriptures many other impossible things that did happen. Yes. And of course we read then, of course, how because of his unbelief, Zacharias was made mute. He wasn't able to speak. could only gesture for things. And this was going to happen until the time that Elizabeth gave birth. We'll read later on in the week. We are in that last week before we celebrate the birth of Christ. We are still in Advent, the preparation time. So leading up to that, as the world becomes even more crazier, leading up to Christmas with their shopping, panic buying, etc. I urge you all to stop. Stop what you're doing for a moment and think about it. How prepared are you spiritually to celebrate the birth of Christ? Are you? Or is the overwhelming panic of preparation to celebrate Christmas, the shopping, getting in the food, preparing meals, cleaning the house, has this overtaken? We are given this opportunity by the church to prepare ourselves spiritually. How many do? How many are overwhelmed by the urgency? Yes, we do have an urgency to be prepared spiritually too. But so often this gets pushed back by the world. We see all the advertising that's going on. Buy this, buy that. Get it so much off this particular product. We are bombarded continually by advertising. Stop. Think. Pray. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you to enable you to focus in on what you should be doing, preparing your soul. In these readings we've had lately, we're also talking about Judgment Day. How many of us are ready to be judged by the Lord? How many of us have repented of our sins. How many of us have been to church recently, have gone to confession and received the body and blood of Christ in communion? How many of you have? Oh, it's difficult, isn't it, this time of the year? So, so much happening, parties, and I've got to go to this place and I've got to go there. How much value to put in your soul when you are judged Christ asks you why didn't you go to church why didn't you pray why didn't you follow my commandments 
how are you going to answer? You're going to say, oh, I was busy. I had shopping I had to go and do. I had to organize these parties. If that was your answer, and you were asked that question, how would you feel? Stop. Stop what you're doing now. Think about it. How will you answer the Lord on the day of judgment for all your failings? Yes, for all your sins. How you've neglected to carry out the commandments of Christ. I urge you all to pray to the Holy Spirit to help you, to show you, open your eyes, open your ears to the Word of God, what He is calling you to do. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you. He will. Just be quiet and listen, and you will hear. And never forget always to give God the glory for all things in your lives. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.